hello friends welcome to mom can do anything in this video i'll be making a designer dress that looks uh, very much like a store bought dress or a boutique style dress that you can buy from online so i'm using this three kind of fabric in this dress the first one is a embroidered fabric which is done on net and below that i'm using a georgette fabric and below that i'm using cotton fabric so let's begin fold everything into half and i'm using a sample frock for measurement trace the pattern keeping few extras so that you can alter the dress as and when your baby grows so here it is i have traced the pattern now mark it with chalk and cut it after cutting pin everything neatly together first place the georgette fabric on top of that keep the right side of the fabric and on top of that keep your cotton fabric pin everything together and stitch along the edges leaving 0.25 inches do not stitch at the bottom of the fabric this is for the top part of the frock keep the sample frock and cut it here it is i have stitched along the edges and i have not stitched the bottom part this is the front and the back portion of the dress now put small slits all along the edges especially on the armhole and the neck area and after doing that flip the dress side out see these are the small slits that i have put now flip it inside out so this is the front portion it looks very neat the neck and the armhole is finished very neatly and uh, both the sides the front and the back side is done now let's work on the bottom part of the frock first keep cotton fabric i have used 2 meters on top of that i'm using two layers of georgette and about that i'm using around 4 meters of this embroidered golden net fabric pin everything together and put small pleats adjust the width so that to the circumference of the dress i'm also adding two layers of lace to the dress now this is the ruffle skirt or i can say the lower part of the dress taking the back portion of the dress cut it into half and stitch cotton fabric onto it and uh, fold it inside this is for attaching the zip so here it is i am switching it and now i'll be folding it and when both the sides are ready for the back side now keep the front side of the fabric put your ribbon or whatever you want to tie the dress with keep it correctly at the position and on top of that put the wrong side of the back fabric so place it properly and stitch the edges after stitching here it is i'm opening it it looks like this the center portion is the front side and the left and right are the back side now attach the ruffle that you have made by adjusting the circumference put pleats in between to make it fit to the dress here it is the ruffles are attached now now i need to add the zipper for that leave around 9 to 10 inches from top and then join the remaining part of the frock see i have left around uh, 10 inches and join the remaining frock together and also join the shoulder of the dress before attaching the zip after you've joined the shoulders flip the dress inside out place your zipper in place and pin it together neatly so that it doesn't move and then stitch it in place so that is the final thing to be done to the dress now the zipper is attached and the dress is ready let me show you by putting it on a dummy i have a dummy so here it is doesn't it look like a store bought dress i have a matching pink color hairband too so this is the final look of the dress you can see two layers of the fabric georgette fabric on top of that golden embroidered fabric and on top of that i have this pink and golden embroidered fabric so this is the final dress i hope you enjoyed watching it Please like share and subscribe thank you for watching